Welcome back to our uh, niche modeling theory uh, explanation. I'm going to start trying to put some meat into this abstract uh, concept that I draw here. And remember, there is there are also two mathematical uh, explanations of, of, about this diagram that are going to be other um, chapters of, on this series. This is an abstract diagram about the geography of the planet. GO represents an area of distribution where the species is actually found, and GI is an area where the species can invade, but is not still there. I'm going to draw now a map of this thing. This is North America. And imagine that the species has the right, the right conditions, the right climate, somewhere in the arid lands. And there is a separation. Why? Because there are mountains here. This couple of regions in the map correspond to the A region in this band diagram. This thing. Uh, in, in, in the abstract, we just draw a circle. In reality, normally, these things are going to be scattered all over the map. Now, what is the green circle? The green circle is very difficult to, to, to estimate. It's one of the major challenges for this field, for the field of, uh, of uh, um, niche modeling. We would like to be much more specific, precise, and, 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 and have available a lot of data about the green circles. So for, for, for a moment, I'm going to be just hypothetical about the green circle. And I'm going to say that there is a competitor that uh, prevents the species from occupying this, the area south of, uh, of, this, of, this, of this circle. Finally, the M circle. Remember the M circle. The M circle means the areas that the species has been able to occupy, to sample, and whether the, those areas are suitable or not. That depends whether the species is capable of invading and creating um, populations, viable populations, or not. And we are assuming that there, are, there is some barrier here in between. So this is the area that the species has been able to sample. Where is the intersection of the three circles? Well, the intersection of the three circles, which is GO, G occupied, is simply this area here. So we're going to use that. The area here is an area where the species has the right physical conditions, the right biotic conditions, and it's been within uh, its capacity to explore geography. This is, uh, as you can see, this is a more complicated, less nice Venn diagram. This is a simple mathematical uh, abstract Venn diagram. This is more complicated. Now, uh, the last thing I want to explore about these things is the, the idea of where would you find the data. The data that you would be using to do your niche modeling of the areas of distribution is of two classes, presence data yeah. and absence data. Yeah. And it's, we're going to have another little uh, video about the tree of possibilities. And there are many ways of having presences and many ways of having absences. But I'm going to describe just the, the simplest ones. Inside the M circle, you can find specimens of the species. By definition, you can't outside. These are places where, where the species has individuals either in viable populations or not in viable populations, in what are called sink populations. Inside this region here, which is GO, you have source populations. These are populations which are in the right place from a biotic perspective, from a, a biotic perspective, and also they have been able to, to 
reach the, the region. <coughs> most museum data, most herbarium data, is not capable of telling you the difference between these thick points and the others. Now, absences. Absences are extremely important. There may be absences in several regions in this diagram. If you have absences uh, outside, you go and sample, and these are absences. But the meaning of these points are different depending on the region where you are. Uh, absences inside A are absences that are caused either by movements or biology, but the species may be able to survive them. So this kind of absence is not an absence from the niche of the species. It's just an absence from geography due to other factors. Whereas absences, for example, an absence, an absence here may be an absence which is completely nonsensical. Perhaps this is, we're talking about polar bears, and this is the, the Congo Basin. Well, this absence is not meaningful from the perspective of modeling. Absence that are perspective, meaningful from the perspective of modeling are absences that take place inside, outside this region, but inside and. And this is one of the major issues in each modeling that you will have to remember, and we're going to be like coming back to this all the time. Because when we do different versions of the BAM diagram, you will see that uh, different kind of absences will uh, turn your modeling efforts completely upside down if you don't take into account this kind of complications. 